Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we are diving into the AI video generating model, which is WAM 2.1. We will look at how it can guess everything between your first and the last frame and generate smooth videos. I will show you how to use Comfy UI to run it. Luckily, Comfy UI has provided a native support for it. All you need to do is to make sure that you have up-to-date Comfy UI installation. If you are not familiar with the Comfy UI, please check out my previous tutorial on installing and running it. It's very powerful. If you previously have it installed, you just need to go into your Comfy UI root location, go to the terminal and do a git pull to upgrade it. That's all you need. And then please uh, open the workflow for the first and the last frame into your Comfy UI web browser interface. So I'm running the Comfy UI on my local Linux machine running a uh, 5090 GPU. And uh, here is uh, the Comfy UI server. And uh, the bottom part is uh, the GPU monitoring. So you can see that uh, it has about uh, 32 gigabytes of VRAM. And uh, for the workflow, it's very conveniently, it included uh, all the link for the download. I will include uh, the download link of the workflow on my video description so you can easily have them. So make sure that you download the each part if you don't have and put them into the corresponding directory. So for example, the diffusion models, go to the diffusion model here. And uh, the text encoder goes to text encoder. So make sure that uh, they are go into the correct place. And, uh, and then there is a model loading part. So sometimes if you find that uh, your VRAM is not sufficient for some of the big size model, so you can try to use uh, the quantized version. So for example, there are F FP4 or MP4 version that can be significantly used to reducing the VRAM needed and make sure that you select the correct model files here. Diffusion model is here. So, so in here, I made a modification to use a t-catch to accelerate it. So I think that's very useful. It can be uh, about 50% of the original workflow. So this node is also important. I also had a video on it, so make sure to check it out. Um, so this is the model part, this is the clipper part, and this is the VAE part. So these are the three and which you need to download the models for. And uh, then there is a start and end frame. So make sure that uh, when you um, design your workflow, you make sure that uh, start image and end image are ready. So for example, in this case, I will provide a start image, a woman standing there and then the end image is that the woman is holding a GPU. So I will can design my prompt to be like a text out a GPU. So that's like, that's like very simple. I think you can be more specific, more details added to the prompt so those can help with it. Click the wrong button to start uh, the work. So click on that. And on the left side, I'm showing you what's going on in the terminal and what's going on about the GPU. So the initial load, it's gonna load some of the models, so it takes some time. Yeah, we see the VRAM is increasing very quickly. So originally it loads into the system RAM and then it's uh, offload it to the VRAM of the GPU, and we see the GPU uh, increased to about 31 gigabytes. Wow, that's a lot. And we see that uh, there is a progressing bar appears on the t terminal, which shows that uh, there are 20 steps total. And pay attention to the estimated uh, total time. 
I think uh, it's about uh, five minutes. And I think uh, after the second uh, steps, it uh, shows uh, that the T catch has been initiated. Yeah, looks uh, quite nice. I think it uh, is working now. And we, th we also see that on the GPU monitoring, the power usage is about uh, 450 watts. GPU utilization is 100%. That's good. And the progressing bar shows that uh, total time is uh, about uh, two minutes, around two minutes. I think the T catch can further reducing that. Yeah, all right, we see that uh, after about uh, two minutes and six seconds, it uh, completed uh, the 20 step with the help of the T catch. So I think T catch showed us it just skipped uh, like nine conditional steps and also nine unconditional steps. So that's uh, quite cool of that. I think then it just show can, we can go to the web browser to see like how it works. Wow, I think uh, the output is really quite good. I think it shows uh, the from the start image to the end image, and the motion is really smooth. And we can also see there is some fa face expression. It's also quite uh, natural. Overall, it's quite a good uh, video. I think a controlled video that we have been able to generate. Let's uh, do another example. So for example, in this case, we want uh, like uh, to for a person to turn it around. So the initial, the start image is a uh, camera angle from the behind of the person, right? So this is the start and then there is the end. So we want it to be facing the viewer. So I think in this case, we can we can also just uh, say that uh, the young woman is uh, turning around. We don't care about uh, how it uh, is turning around, probably from um, clockwise or anti-clockwise, both are fine. So that's, uh, if you want to be more specific, I think you can also mention that. But in this case, in our case, I think we can let uh, the model to decide. So. I think based uh, on some of the physical understanding of the model, which can decide uh, how to do it like uh, more naturally, more smoothly. So we will let uh, the model to decide it. Okay, so let's uh, click uh, the run button and uh, get things uh, kicked off. <laughs> okay, we see that it uh, takes about uh, 132 seconds to generate uh, the video. It uh, takes about uh, 20 steps with the help of the T-catch. So it's uh, shown me here. And we, we can see that uh, everything goes smoothly. And let's see about the output. Yes, I think it uh, followed our instruction, followed the model's instruction very precisely. I think. All right, so here are a few other examples. I think uh, there's many, many things that you can do. Feel free to explore them. Thank you for watching. Please give it a thumb up and uh, share it. Please uh, subscribe to the channel for future content. Thank you for your support. Goodbye.